All right, Three. hello everyone. We are back with the second match of the league. Uh, we are going to be starting off with Diamond Mew versus Kirijin here for Team Moonlit Melee versus three Juness employees. Also, I am really quickly going to... I would to... just like to point out that three Juness employees took our team's name. <laughs> as soon as we started typing it, they, their team name changed to that. I'm pretty ticked. Interesting. They've got the reads out of game, too. No kidding! They have the... I like this I like this team name, Lore. <laughs> Guess we're gonna have to go with our backup plan, which is Team Jaxus's favorite. Oh. Wait, but that's what we were gonna name our son. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is fine uh, okay, as long so as you like... don't beat us. <laughs> oh, okay, that's what. Then you'll make us change the name. Exactly. Looks like we've got Rize versus Yosuke in the first round. This is gonna be a real low life, low damage fight. So I guess it'll probably even out. Both of these characters yeah. do like negative damage but have incredible mix-ups oh and yosuke's super fast mm -hmm. so rize is going to be trying to set up these notes which is going to be interesting because yosuke has the movement to play around him this will it'll kind of come down to who can get that set up i think yeah it it should be interesting to watch i do think that uh diamond mew probably has more experience with the game in general so far um, I know that they were, like, doing some just for fun combo labbing and stuff like that back before rollback hit, even. Oh, yeah. I, I played against Diamond Muse Rize. It is. The pressure is incredible. Mm -hmm. But right out of the gate, like, Yosuke, we have uh, pressure coming on from Yosuke, just not letting Rize get those setups they want. <laughs> we just had a solid, like, ten straight seconds of neutral without anyone getting hit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's like they're dash dancing. Exactly. It's, it's real neutral, too. It's not just, like, a full-screen neutral. Ooh, game. there's that deep. Mm -hmm. yeah, coming out from both of them there. I... It does feel like those, uh, kunai are going to be at a really good angle to, uh avoid the like pseudo zoning from Rize? Yeah, I don't know what Rize has that could hit at that angle. Probably the the shocking move. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, and there's the persona break. That's gonna That's it's gonna come back quick for Rize, but it still puts her at a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Awakening now though. Oh, for both of them. And here we see Super Mode Yosuke gets even faster, gets a new 5A and auto combo. It does wear off here though. Uh, it also makes basically every normal he has dash Ooh. cancelable. Yeah, Excellent conversion off the furious action there. Mm -hmm. Yosuke install really just, uh, it turns him into a, a whole different kind of character. In, in essence, like, if you are if you are playing a character that doesn't have just tip-top defense, uh, Yosuke can just kind of install and walk all over you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, baited out the furious action there. All right, combo. Okay, yeah, probably a good spot to burst. You know, you still got a decent amount of life here. This way you might get yeah, it back for round three. Right, there's a chance to get it back still. <laughs> I actually learned just hitting an auto combo gives you back burst. Specifically auto combos. Yep, it is uh, as long as you make it to this, like as long as the special at the end connects, then you get a, I think it's like 10 meter and burst. It might be like 10% right. burst in something. Again, that furious action on Rize is just very threatening at just about any range, especially mm. right there. Even if you don't hit it, it still does the shock. Okay. Uh, good thing that Kirijin realized what was about to happen and bailed out because that super, I believe, is the unblockable rhythm game super. It is unblockable, <laughs> yes. That was, I got, I, my heart sank in my chest just for a second there. <laughs> yeah, well, he was just standing there blocking. Yeah. All right, uh, so I will, a little bit of, like, history on these players. Uh, Diamond Mew, one of the TOs here at SSF, has been, like, messing with Persona for a decent bit now, just not very seriously until the Kickstart League. Uh, they played a bit all the way back pre-COVID when we ran uh, the PS3 version of the game for a couple weeks. Um, they're probably one of the most experienced, or at least knowledgeable, if not like hands-on experienced, with this game in the league so far. Uh, Kirijin, on the other hand, 
has just this wild trajectory in every Kickstart League that he's been a part of so far. Uh, the Skullgirls one was definitely the big deal, where he started from having never played a fighting game before and ended up being one of the scariest players in the league at the end. Fast learner. Yeah, so, like yeah, his skill level just kind of does this. <laughs> so if he's starting off this strong here, uh, this league might get spooky. Yeah, the yeah, Yosuke fundamentals, to... they're, they're solid. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to actually learn the, uh, the Yosuke matchup. I was, I've been dreading doing that this whole time, but... Uh... <laughs> I was just kind of hoping that no one would uh, no one would pick Yosuke, but... <laughs> oh, and yeah, Sego, um, it only is set up to show two, so I figure you guys can see when I'm talking. I'll just throw the two of them on there. The joke is still funny. <laughs> it is. Okay, well, we didn't see a couple of specific moves for come out from Kirijin yet. Um, one of them being the unblockable that I don't know if uh, Diamond Mew knows about. <laughs> Might be able to like knowledge check some damage off of it. So I, if uh, if you know, don't answer. How active do you think those notes are when they pop? How what do you mean by accurate? Like how many active frames do you think a popped note has? Uh, more than it probably should. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty silly. It's like twenty nine. <laughs> Yeah, just to explain the mechanic a little bit, she puts mm -hmm. out those notes and then she can pop them with any attack that uses her microphone. You can kind of see the little sound waves coming off them. Yep. And they create a shock wave that can just keep pressure on her opponent. Mm -hmm. And uh, the notes... Great response to that dive kick. The note explosion can pop other notes to just make another hitbox. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, whiffs the super low. Wow, Yosuke is so fast that he just completely disappeared before the, uh... The... Yeah, smart what move. is it called? Uh, Bit? Spawned on him? Kirojin backed off there in that super, but... <laughs> Riza, or Diamond Mew is still able to put on the pressure really well there. Yep, definitely still a big commitment. I am curious if you can, uh, one more cancel it on block. But I don't know if he had the meter for it. All out attack? That's no what that was? Not a huge conversion off that. Yeah, that was an all-out. Okay, I feel for Kirijin because I too saw the animation and went, okay, they whiffed something, let me go punish. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> Rize can actually put up shields to make her all-out attack much harder to see. Ah, gotcha. It's actually an intended mechanic. Gotcha. Plus the nose. Ooh, plus and the DP bait and punish? Furious action. A lot of damage off that scramble. And into super? I don't Is think this kill? kills because it's awakening. Yeah, if that was not awake. Very good. The, the furious action is very difficult to avoid with Riza. <laughs> right, that doesn't do like any damage. <laughs> no, not a, it can combo into cool stuff mm -hmm. as long as you don't block it. Finally. Yep. Okay, going into this last round of game two, that's a spooky uh, DP to get punished, but honestly, not the worst. Wow, what a pickup. Like, recognizing just at the end that the mash out actually worked and counter hit. Diamond Mew going for a bit of zoning here. Just trying to keep Yosuke away is not easy. Yeah, no, he's so fast. It's like on commentary here, I'm what. <laughs> Okay, so if anyone doesn't know, that's Risei's jump 2B. Uh, the first hit is a mid, but as soon as she hits the ground, she immediately does a sweep that is a low. Yeah, it's 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 a weird dive kick that goes straight down, though. So if you're ready for it, you can punish it. It's just you gotta be ready for both hits. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely, uh, the sweep is a little bit of a knowledge check type deal. And wow, yeah, just like, I guess that situation auto-baits the, uh... The guard crush! Ooh, there's the furious action for the KO. Yep. Alright, Diamond Me will take it, but not without a heck of a fight from Carriage in there. No, that was a great match. Three rounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very close. Okay, well. Moving on, we are going to get Konakami up against Spiegel. Ooh. So let me go ahead and invite them to the lobby. Steam friends list, stop moving. <laughs> um, there we go. I'm, 
Hang on. Uh, I need to get off comms. Okay. I, I just can't. But I. Uh, no worries. Yeah. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, it's been some some fun games <laughs> for sure. All right. Uh, good luck to uh, both the both the teams. I don't remember their uh, names. Something about Moonlit Melee and three Juness employees. Yeah. All right. Good luck to both of them. Uh, and you guys, uh, see you later. See you around, DJ KK. Okay. Uh, oh. We're waiting for Kona? Uh, we are waiting for Kirigen, actually. So, I'm just, uh, letting him know how to auto-pass. Uh, in case you're in the stream, Kirigen, uh, if you hit the menu, so, like, tab or start or whatever, then there's just an auto pass function. Yeah, you can adjust how much time the auto pass waits for in the lobby settings. Yep. Okay, well, we are going to get Minazuki, not show, up against yeah, Konakami. Yeah, trying to explain this game's roster is wild. Yeah, Shadow Labrys, no, Shadow Type Labrys, show Minazuki. <laughs> Uh. And I mean, it makes some sense when you understand the game, but at the same time, it, it's it's some yeah. nonsense. Yep, yep. All right, what are we looking at here? Shadow Labrys, we saw a fair amount of in the last match. It was she's she's a puppet type character. That's what we're looking for. She's trying to control space with Asterius. Minazuki, I'm not super familiar with. I'll be honest. So Minazuki is uh the like just strong from a baseline character he's just got great normals does like above average damage from everything meterless and just it's like strong reka pressure he also has like good projectiles fun fact the low projectile hits low um, i mean yeah you you would think but if you come from street fighter that's unusual mm -hmm. I, I haven't played a game with a uh, projectiles that have heights Oh, he does also have that teleport. Version. They're just, he, he's doing a great job of keeping Kuna in the corner there, but looks like he's gonna break out. Oh my gosh, the good old DP into mashing DP again strategy. If it doesn't work the first time, do it again. <laughs> All right, Shadow Labrys is now in Awakening, which means Titana Machia is on the table. For anyone who doesn't know, Titana and Machia. Meter for it. Yup. Sonomachia is the best super in the game, and it's not close. You input it, and then... Oh, well, you can't input it now. Uh, you program three moves for your persona to do, and it just does them, and it is passively invincible to everything Ooh, except supers cross during it. Great cross-up there to get the finish. Minazuki can just hit you from the front or behind, teleport behind you, hit you, you know, typical anime bull crap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I will say, though, uh, if you are looking for it, that teleport is, like, uh, I want to say, like, 30 or 40 frames startup. So you can just yeah. kind of 2B it on if reaction. It. But, yeah, it, that is the uh, the important thing there, for sure. Oh Gonna get the big damage in the corner here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, remember, this is off of a 2A starter. <laughs> That's so yeah. much damage. Ooh, good guard That's cancel. That's Persona in a nutshell for you. Mm-hmm. Kuna already in Awakening. Alright, let's see if we get a Titanomachia this time. No, we do not. Just the nope, teleport there's the, coming there's through teleport again. Mm -hmm. That's a really good move against Shadow Labrys, honestly. Yeah, for sure. It uh, Especially just because a lot of her normals have so much recovery that if you, like, call it out... Well, a lot of her game focuses on keeping her opponent at bay with Asterius, and she can mm -hmm. just you can just say, no, I don't want to play that game. You you put Asterius in front of me, I'm going behind him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Does require a good call out, but all the great moves do. I think Kirigen is stuck in spectate right now, so I'm going Oh, never mind. These lobbies okay, that certainly exist. Auto for me. There we go. Okay, okay, we got it. Oh, yeah, here, let me... Uh, I'll go ahead and invite you now, Sago. Um, 
assuming we are friends on Steam. If not, can you uh, send me your friend code? Unfortunately, with the way these lobbies work, you have to be Steam friends to invite to a, a private lobby. We're not about to make this public. Yep. <laughs> we got enough lobby issues as it is, you know? Okay, though. So, Konakami in here was, like, putting up a pretty decent fight, but ooh, Spiegel was able to just, like, maneuver around at key points. It's huge. that call-out we, we were talking about. Mm -hmm. The burst did a good job of putting Spiegel in the corner, but quickly reversed that situation. Yeah, I think this matchup's really going to come down to who can keep the pressure on their opponent best. For sure. Oh, hop into counter hit there. Wow, that did so little damage. <laughs> oh, uh, on the, the other hand. <laughs> Can't forget about the ball. Yep. Both players now in Awakening. There's a lot of meter on the table. Yep, I think this should be able to just kill. Yeah. Yep. I am amazed that, that we sense. haven't seen Konakami just throw out Tatanamakia. It's a good move. It's it does have some pretty big drops. If you can if you're in the corner, it's not as good because she can't cross you up. That's mm. the one thing. You want your opponent to be in the middle of the screen for her. For sure. And even there though, you can do uh, like the command grab or just have it lock you down while Labrys oh, is doing high low. Man, that launcher Great just looks hit. so brutal every time. Oh! It's so high. Ah, the metered part dropped, but okay, we take those. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Something about the way they're doing that metered pickup is just not working out. But I mean, at this point, the life is so different. Wow, spends the gold burst, really. Yeah, interesting time. Okay, well, Spiegel Both will not have characters. burst. Both these characters can just really threaten their opponent at just about any range. So, I mean, full screen is footsie's range for these two. <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh, big counter hit, but yeah, it being an air hit, probably not a combo ready on deck, especially not at this point in the league. Kuna doing a good job keeping the pressure on, but Spiegel's looking for the opening. There mm -hmm. it is with furious action. That was a great uh, maneuvering around the bull and Labrys hitboxes there. Yeah, you kind of got to worry about both of them in a way you just don't with most other characters. For sure. And it looks like Konakami is figuring something out here. It's going a lot better for him. Just in general, Ooh, burst gets baited, burst. but not the worst punish. Both players have a lot of meter on the table now. Oh, there's the burst. There's the persona break, sorry. Okay, there's a burst though, yep. And this is just is straight gonna be neutral able to here. Oh, but Ooh, just out of the range. Furious action. Yeah, he was just barely misspaced. Just a really good reversal there. That was solid. Mm -hmm. Just All in this right. game, you do not have to respect your opponent's pressure. You can just <laughs> say no. Oh, right. I mentioned earlier that uh, I looked up some stuff about Shabris, and there was like the beginner's guide to fighting her. And the uh, the last line on there just says, don't play Yukari. Uh, yeah, I, I, I still that. don't know why. I have no idea. I don't, um, I'm interested in why Yukari as opposed to, say, Yukiko. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, one of the and other I things think... was uh, disrespect their Oki unless they're good. <laughs> yeah, I could see it. Mm -hmm. I mean, because the, the thing is, Asterius is always out for the most part. Most personas in this game are only out when you call them and then they're gone. Mm -hmm. um, if you hit the persona, you interrupt the attack, you break one of those cards underneath the health bar. Asterius is always there. If you hit Asterius, he's gone for a second and you can potentially persona break Shadow Labrys. And Shadow Labrys With without Asterius is just not a threat. Yeah, not a full character. Barely even so, half. Like, if you can just poke the bull just enough, mm -hmm. then she's no longer a threat. I will say, uh... Thank you, devs, for not giving Asterius some of the uh, system persona changes in this version, where they're invincible until active on most moves. 
Yeah. Yeah, that would, uh, that'd be a little wild. Yeah. So right here, oh, you'll what notice a that he did the teleport move, but he went to the front of Shadow Labyrinth, the front of Kuna. Mm -hmm. I think that he's recognizing, hey, Kuna's starting to recognize my teleports. All right, let's mix it up. Yeah, for sure. The spooky part about that is if uh, Konakami can figure out that, like, the response, so to speak, is just pressing 2B, um, then it doesn't matter which side he's on. He can just... Really? That many DPs and all unpunished? I mean, That, you got that is the Spiegel. <laughs> Ooh, the failed burst. That's gonna be costly. Yep. Both characters in Awakening. Kona has the meter for to do something crazy. It's just a question of what's gonna happen. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Yep, went for the DP there, just in case there was anything else tricky coming. Yeah, block the super, that's gonna be the round. And no burst here from Konakami. God, that just looks so brutal every time. It does so much. It does. It's the classic case, though. If you know it's coming, you can deal with it. Mm-hmm. Well, mostly. It is kind of just, like, in theory, just a pressure starter. <laughs> but... Oh, <yeah. laughs> Konakami doing a real good job about uh, keeping the Persona safe here. Ooh, and yeah. good defense. Nice block on that Persona quick overhead Andrew there. Blocking the whole time. Gold burst. It's not going to do anything, though. Oh, here's a Titanomach. Titanomach, yeah? Oh, but yeah, Shabris herself got hurt. Got hit. Oh. That? Another I, drop burst. That was wonky. Like, something about the way that uh, Spiegel moved around the burst made his attack afterwards go the wrong way. Um... I do know that you don't turn around when you're in the air. Mm -hmm. By default, there's a turn around button in this game. So that may have something to do yep, with it. Yep, yep. Well, I think he was on the ground. I'm not entirely sure, though. Um, let's see. Sago, did you find your friend's code? Your friend code. I believe that is what we need right now. Okay, so uh, Sego, if you uh, if you go to your friends list and click add a friend, it takes you straight to your friend code. Oh, and yeah, Spiegel, you can just hang out in lobby. I'll reinvite. So it looks like Moonlit Melee has a one game lead so far. So mm -hmm. going into the third game now. Uh, yeah, that sounds right. Do we want to review how this works? Everybody on one team is going to play everybody on the other team. Nine matches. Each game is worth a point. Yep. Then it just continues until all matches here. Oh. Okay, sorry. Sego, you did send me an invite. I didn't recognize it because your, uh, your tag on here is different. But I think I got you now. Uh, but yeah, so no matter what, all nine matches will happen here. That is not the case in finals, but, you know, we're not there yet. Okay, let me... I sure did hit accept on that friend request. Oh, but instead it sent them a request. All right, Sego, you should now have a friend request request, I guess. We're going to want to notice out there for everybody to friend you before, yeah. before their matches. Yeah. This whole Kickstart League is just a scam so you can get more Steam friends. Oh no, they're on to me. <laughs> Shh, I won't tell. <laughs> it's fine, nobody heard. Okay. Did the uh did the stream die? Uh I think the stream's still here. I think my window died, that's all. Ah, Twitch. Okay. Steam. Do be like. <laughs> oh, oh. We're ironing there out. There we go. Okay. Lobby invite sent. Alright, so let's see. Diamond Mew, I assume, will be sticking with the Rise. I 
No, I don't remember who Sego is playing. I forgot I'm not allowed to click in the lobby. Or yeah. it tries to disband it. <laughs> we do not want that now that we finally have everyone in here. Minus one? Uh, right, who are we missing? God. Diamond Mew, Konakami, and... Oh, we're missing Young Cheesy. Oh, that's interesting. Diamond Mew will be sticking with the Rize, and it looks like Ske will be playing the Yosuke. All right, we do have two Yosukes in the league then, at least. On the same team, no less. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. I forgot about that. Oh, and the team name is three Juness employees, so uh, I think Kona did not get the memo. Uh, Spiegel, actually, is the third on their team, so the Minazuki... Um, I don't think they got hired at Junez. <laughs> okay, that would be wild, though. Just head down to your local small-town Walmart. Minazuki's there teleporting with giant swords. <laughs> He's Employee of the Month. So we've already <laughs> seen this match here today. Um, two Yosukes, that'll happen. It'll be interesting to see how the pressure game differs from player to player. For this sure. is a game where you can you can play your playstyle pretty differently. This joke isn't funny anymore, you know? Yep, I will say I believe Sego is one of the players who is very new to fighting games. Uh, like has some strive experience, but definitely a lot less time on them than Kirijin did. If they are in fact the player I'm thinking of, Ooh. I will. Looks like they're doing okay so far. <laughs> As new character, as a new player goes, Yosuke is not a terrible choice. Fair enough. You just kind of have to first. be willing to deal with getting exploded, but it, yeah, and that'll just kind of happen either way sometimes. Looking for the corner, but Yosuke is pretty adept at getting right back out, converting for the super for some pretty big damage there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rise is pretty close to awakening here. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Now, Awakening, for those who don't know, it's when your health gets low enough, you get some meter, your meter goes up to 150, and you get access to a new super, some of which are really powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, important note, you not only does your meter go up to 150, you also instantly get 50 meter. So if your which opponent has... Which is enough for any normal super. Yep. Your opponent has zero meter and you knock them down, uh, and they wake up with Awakening, you could just get Reversal Supered. <laughs> There's the first round. Mm-hmm. Diamond View's over here probably being like, man, why am I fighting Team Matt? <laughs> Multiple Yosuke's tonight for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these kunai are just putting in a lot of work. No, I think Skay's doing a really good job of getting in close and far, like playing at every range, using the kunai and using them to create space to rush in. For I sure, have yeah. The name is Skay here. What's the name I should actually uh, be using? Sago. S A G O. Okay. Or I'm, I'm using the Steam username. I, yeah, no worries. I think people know who you're talking about because it's on screen too. There's the burst, gonna barely be hanging on to life with that, but Rize, ooh, a clean hit. That was pretty impressive, right? Okay. Sego gets the first game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when it comes to using a persona, you've still got a lot to learn. Right, have to click past the end screen. Yep, ah. yep. doing the same. Okay. Okay, I have restarted the stream. Uh, on my end, it was saying that it was healthy, but... Uh, yeah, I think something in my browser just went wrong, that's all. Well, a oh. couple people messaged me and said that the stream was down, so I don't know if that was something weird on my end or with Twitch, but uh, hopefully it's back up now. If it goes down again, feel free to just at me in the chat a bunch, and I will come fix it. <laughs> Also, Spiegel, right before this match, said, uh, Sego, remember the dark arts? 
I don't know what I those are, but uh, it seemed to work that first time. <laughs> well, if he is new to fighting games, the one thing that every new player just puts them leagues ahead of everyone else, the dark arts are blocking. True, true. The Forbidden Scrolls, for sure. <laughs> it's not a blocking game. I'm not playing Tetris. <laughs> Man, all of Yosuke's intros. They're all so great. That move is just so strange looking. You go, you drop straight to the ground, you dash forward. It's very difficult to prepare for, but that is Yosuke's game plan in a nutshell. Rize is able, or Diamond Mew is keeping the pressure on by using those notes that we talked about earlier. Ooh, baited the backdash with those lightning shots. And this is, okay, got some, <laughs> Yosuke's oh. mobility working against him there. You know, I don't think anything summarizes how goofy this game can be to die for action there. <laughs> oh. And uh, so I'm Living Shadow, while game. the while the stream was down, Sego took game one here. Also, Konakami, can you correct me? Is it Sago, Sago? I know that I have been corrected before, but I don't remember what it is. <laughs> both players just playing that footsies game. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're converting for both the pressure and gets a few notes on the board. It's wild that the notes don't go away when Risei gets hit, too. Yeah, I mean... It, like, it makes sense, yet. but... <laughs> true, true. They're just screen honestly, pollution, it's fine. Honestly, throwing out that furious action like Diamond Mew just did, just in neutral, not a terrible option. Mm -hmm. Especially in a matchup like this, where, like, Yosuke might just attack from half-screen anyways. Yeah. And even if he yeah, hits he, you... He could be there, quick. Mm -hmm. Sego's got low health, and there it is. In the Awakening, lots of meter, couldn't really do anything with it in that moment. Yep. That will make great oh. job keeping the pressure on by Diamond Mew there. One, one there, and that looked like uh, Diamond Mew figured something out. I'm not sure what exactly changed between games one and two outside of uh, Diamond Mew being a lot more ready to take advantage of the no techs, but you know, maybe it was just that. From here, I, I think it was they kind of realized. The first game, I feel like Sego did a really good job controlling the space, throwing Kunai, being a threat at any range. And Diamond Mew just kind of said, no, I'm going in now. I'm playing the game on my terms. I'm going to start setting the pace. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see in game three here how that goes. Who can control the pace of this game is really gonna, what's going to control the matchup. Sure. And yeah, both of these characters, well, actually, I guess... Uh... Yosuke is probably better at it on average. Risa is generally pretty good, but only at specific distances. Yeah, and so. I feel like Rize is really good if you can start the pressure and put some notes out. Mm -hmm. Then you can extend the pressure, but until those notes are out, your options are a bit more limited. Yeah, she's got what uh, I've heard people call a two-step neutral. Where the okay, first put step out the notes, is yeah, getting put set up. Where that, like, like that. isn't always bad, but also against people who just have really strong, like, baseline neutral tools can be, uh, <laughs> a bit difficult. Yeah, yeah. And Yosuke definitely has those tools. Right there, we just saw, uh, Sego able to throw the kunai down, and then on the next one, drop straight down and slide in. There's some good mix-ups happening here. Mm -hmm. See right there, there it is again. You're looking <laughs> for the kunai, get hit by the slide. The Arxis Ninjas are- oh, wow. That just There's stayed out action. for so long. And here the pressure begins. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of combos, though, where the numbers turning yellow. The burst right after Awakening. Very smart. Oh, oh no. that's unblockable. Here we go. <laughs> you saw Sego try and mash out. Yeah, okay. I mean, if you don't know, it's unblockable. Yep, and invincible. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, this doesn't actually care about hitting the wrong button, so you can do it by just pressing, uh, like, A, B, C, D, and just slapping all four every time. <laughs> I, I'm so mad to know that. I know, man. right? Uh, Diamond Mew... Uh -oh. Okay, okay, oh, he, he got it, he got it. Dash. Very good. Uh, Diamond Mew's actually talked about it, though, and he doesn't like slapping all four, he just has, like, A, B, and C, D, and just uses the macro to only do two at once. <laughs> it's the advanced tech. Exactly. <laughs> Sego taking round one here. Game three. <laughs> Spiegel's over this here in chat saying he's point. just a kid. Don't do it to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Sego's Sego's too nice. So Sego's fun. doing a great job keeping pressure on at any range of those. Mm -hmm. Oh, weird all out attack. Oh, there it is. There's the all out attack again. Yeah, I guess there he's just being conversion. like, whatever, it'll armor the kunai and also armor the low. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Honestly, what a throw out big armored moves against Yosuke. Odds are he's going to be there in a second. Mm -hmm. Diamond Mew got the notes out, but not really able to do anything with them. I'm... Here's the awakening and plenty of meter. I probably shouldn't be, but I was surprised that the burst didn't activate the notes. Uh, that'd be silly. But I, it it I would be. Concept. It really would be. Super? Is it not going to be enough? I don't think here. Yeah, definitely not to kill, but that's still a solid chunk of damage. And Ooh. remember, this is 1-1, one, one, so this is like, this, if yeah, Diamond Mew gets point. hit here by anything real, there yep, that'll is. do it. That move, it just comes out so fast. If you're not ready for it, you're getting hit. Mm -hmm. Great match. Sego's going to take the set. Okay, well, up next, we've got Young Cheesy versus Spiegel. Okay, uh, is Cheesy... No, Cheesy is the one who is not yet in here. So let me send them an invite. And let me exit the match because I have... This, these lobbies are something. The, yep. As I said, yes, I accidentally clicked and it brought up the, are you sure you want to close the lobby? Yeah, there's got to be a way to say more. <laughs> the mouse clicking, I mean. Yeah. Any insights on Young Cheesy? We have not yet to see Young Cheesy play today. Okay, Young Cheesy is uh, theoretically, similarly to Sego, pretty new to the game and like fighting games. And I believe that the character that they are interested in is the Funny Baseball Man. So I'm Ooh, expecting to Ooh, I love to Funny Junpei. Baseball Man. I will say... Funny Baseball Man gets people into this game. It's such a wacky mechanic, and I love it. For sure, for sure. Um, it is... He's just like... the. Oh, uh, right. Spiegel is requesting to pick the net play stage, please. I don't actually know which one that is in this game. I hope it's not the pillar yeah. or the, like, what looks uh, like a final boss issues. room. Maybe. I wouldn't expect Spiegel to be running into those right now, but... It's not a super demanding game, but when you add rollback to something, mm -hmm. it... And it, to be fair, the PC version is, uh, definitely has some optimization issues. <laughs> um, I can't say I've encountered issues. I've, I've, I've thought it's a pretty good port so far, other than the clicking thing. Okay, that's fair. As fun fact, when so, I boot the game, it brings up a white screen and then plays the intro movie in a different window, and I have to close oh, it with my mouse, oh, and then it goes to the title be, screen. <laughs> I think I know what that is, and it's some weird driver's thing. Probably, yeah. It's a, it's a workaround solution to your video card or something weird like oh, that. Oh my gosh. So we've got Young Cheesy here playing Junpei. Now Junpei's got this mechanic that we mentioned earlier, the baseball mechanic. If he hits his opponent, he gets a base. If he whiffs an attack, he gets a strike. Hits a blocking opponent, that's a ball. Gets three outs, clears the bases. If he ever gets 10 runs, he does victory cry and becomes, well, a much stronger character. And every subsequent 10 runs gets him even stronger. True. In victory so cry, he down. even just passively regenerates health and meter. Yeah, it's going to come down to whether or not... Uh, whether or not Spiegel can shut down the rounds quickly. Long rounds are going to be really good for Young Cheesy. For sure. Um, like I was saying before, Young Cheesy is one of the newer players, so there is a uh, decent chance that they will sort of do the thing where, like, at the beginning of the league, they might be much weaker than they actually are, like, results-wise, and then once they figure a couple specific things out, uh, then they get stronger. Because while Junpei isn't, like, a crazy technical character in the normal way, he is a character where if you don't 
like, if you're not confident and comfortable in, like, routing around the external resource, then it's yeah. gonna be, like, harder than it might be with other characters. But, like, Jude yeah. is so cool. He doesn't really come online until he can get those ten bases, so you kind of have to optimize for getting a lot of bases instead of just doing damage. You yeah. can use the burst to stay alive with just a hair of health. Plenty of meter, though, to make something happen. But those projectile zoning, Spiegel's gonna take round one. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, fun fact about those projectiles, not only is the low one low, when you do the, uh, the SB version, the high one is also actually an overhead. <laughs> it's, uh, it's that's wacky. It's bizarre. So I think you can just crouch it and it doesn't matter, but at least on Dust Loop, it is first. listed as a high. That's... that's weird. You know, the thing about a game like this, there's a lot going on. The characters all have crazy strong gimmicks. The combo routes are kind of insane. But if you just want to get in and start hitting buttons, you're going to have a good time. Mm -hmm. You just need to know a little bit. And that's with these kickstart leagues. Everybody knows a little bit and it's a different little bit for each person. <laughs> so it makes it an interesting game regardless. For sure. Complex fighting games, don't you don't have to know everything to get started. As long as you know one thing, and that one thing is uh, something your character does, you can do it to them. And blocking. <laughs> no need to block. oh, no blocking. And blocking, and blocking, that is true. Once you're blocking, you're playing the game. All right, game two starting up. Going for the fury, Junpei going for the furious action right out of the gate does not, does not work. Yeah, Junpei's uh, reversal is actually really weird because it looks like yeah, it's just a normal. Step. Yeah, it looks like just a normal strike DP, but the reversal actually just puts him into a stance, uh, and then you have to do the follow up manually. It's... And there's some supers that work that way too. Mm -hmm. Spiegel doing an amazing job just keeping the pressure on. The health is low enough here for Young Cheesy, but yep, there it is. Yeah, just the blender Even with for sure. And all the meter, just the pressure is on. Oh, all out There's attack. The, all okay, out attack gets the right burst. Out of the round start. Young Cheesy using his persona to put the pressure on. Yeah, the like the persona stagger move there, where it just like pecks you three times, is so fun. It's very cool, but it's designed to set up Junpei, a character that otherwise would have a really tough time at long range, mm -hmm. to be able to move in and start getting bases. Yeah, I'm sure that you can, like, mash it and break the persona, but then you're always risking getting countered by yeah. Junpei. Suddenly Junpei shows up in front of you. Spiegel, again, just keeping the pressure on, not letting Young Cheesy get anything really started. Oh! <laughs> Jumps forward and just far. dodges the teleport. Totally according to plan. Ah, yep, and there is and that there's reversal. The, there's the furious action. Mm -hmm. awesome. Alright, Spiegel and taking Spiegel that one. Take it. Mm -hmm. Pretty convincingly, but that is a... Uh, Spiegel definitely one of the players coming into the league on the stronger end for sure. Oh yeah, that was a... part of the league especially, you're going to see some huge differences in skill. Mm -hmm. But you're going to see some players who, at first, weren't doing a lot, just really come online later on. I think in that round, Spiegel did a great job of just not letting Young Cheesy get runs. Because Junpei really comes online once he gets 10 runs, but until then, he's kind of like half a character. It's tough. Yeah. Yep, and that once is kind of what going, we saw there. Scary. It's just the struggle to become a character. And it, it is wild because, like, as you get better at Junpei, the strength of the character just changes so much because, you know, oh, getting, yeah. like, getting to Victory Cry at, like, the end of round one versus halfway through round two versus in round three is just, like, such a wildly different experience because it stays for the whole rest of the set. Well, yeah, it's rest and it'll, of the game. it'll keep ramping up. You can get it early, you're set. Mm-hmm. All right, these two players, Konakami and Seigo, uh, have actually, I believe, are friends outside of the league and are the people who generally play together in, like, Strive and stuff. I don't know how much they've played in this, but this should be an interesting one to watch.
Yeah, fighting games are so much about reading and knowing your opponent, recognizing patterns. So when players know each other, that's where you see the really good matches happening. When they know each other and know what their characters are. Yeah, I was going to say uh, that second part, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, this, er, this early in the league, that second part might be interesting. <laughs> okay, well, getting into it. And things are still uh, looking pretty close between these two teams as well. Oh, yeah. Well, then, let's get down to business. So Yosuke and Shadow Labyrinth. Once again, this is just going to be a matchup all about how well Yosuke can play around Asterius. If he can get in there and really just attack Shadow Labyrinth directly, the space is controlled. But Shadow Labyrinth has so many tools to keep y keep Yosuke out. So this will be interesting. Oh, I was also I was actually looking at it earlier. So you have to deal 400 damage in a single hit to break Asterius. Oh wow. Yosuke does not have many moves that do that. It's like 2B and C normals and sweep. And I think so that's it. So it's gonna it. come down to Yosuke getting around Asterius then. Yeah. Uh, and like a couple specials as well, but like is 5A, is 5B, etc. They're all like multi-hit, so none of them have 400 on a single, which is what you need. And Yosuke, he's doing a good job here, getting around. Skei's getting around, using Kunai to threaten, using that dash to mix things up. That was real good. He managed to uh, tag the Persona there and stuff it right before what I think was the laser came out. It's a big move, but it's slow. We got some. We got Awakening here from Kuna. Oh boy, and there is Teutonomachia. There it is, and there's the third hit. Here's Does the big damage. Does this just kill? Yep. Yeah, I mean, it is Yosuke, so. Yeah. I should have, uh, I don't know how I much of a question that was. I don't know that he has the lowest health in the game. Uh, I believe he is tied for lowest. Let me go check. Um, yeah, I want to no, know. Sorry, he is second lowest health, because Shadow Labyrinth has the lowest. Yeah, but Shadow Labyrinth has Asterius, where you're wasting a lot of hits on Asterius. Yep. Yeah, it's a uh, Yosuke is at nine thousand five hundred. Shabris is at nine thousand. There's just like a couple classes of health in this. I believe it might be eight and eight point five actually. I do not have Dust Loop up in front of me. <laughs> How dare they? <laughs> Sorry, but I won't lose. Okay, no, that looks uh, stuff. That does look um. I guess in general did look pretty winnable for Sego if just like a couple other things went their way. But there were a yeah, lot of it... situations in there that were scrambly where if uh, Konakami like tightens things up, it could also just be smothering this time. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's going to come down, like I said, around getting around Asterius. So mm -hmm. this is my this is just hype fighting game music going on now. <laughs> I don't know, incredibly it dissonant but it intros. Could not be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of the songs in this game, you gotta wonder why they include them. <laughs> Ooh, boy, big damage coming big out damage here. Big damage for Kuna. What a mash! Yeah, Kuna's also doing a good job using Asterius to block incoming Kunai, incoming dashes, just to, just to say no, you're staying back now. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think Shadow Labyrinth is, like, the most mobile character, for sure. You want her to be mobile as well? I mean... <laughs> no. Yeah, <it's> gonna <laughs> <laughs> oh, the navigators. Yeah, they're great. Sego has got the meter to do something here. Yep, and this, this is awakening, also though. one... He's just enough. It is, but this is also a single hit from yeah. There it is, Persona oh, Break. The persona Break. That's going to be a big hit if you let it be. <laughs> Nobody knows what to do about that. Just, <laughs> just let it rock. That did stall for a long time to get uh, the Persona cards back. It won't end up mattering, this but. Super... <laughs> oh, thanks, Shadow. Uh, yeah. So Shabris has eight thousand. Yosuke has eight point five. Okay. 
Yeah, it seems like uh, the longer, like, grindier rounds are definitely going more in favor of Sego. But it's like, if something snaps and he gets clipped, like, is currently happening... Why is the whole uh, health bar red? <laughs> it's fine. And there's she Asterius with the full it. screen pressure. <laughs> oh my yeah, god. I think yeah, from now on we just gotta say, you know what, she needs it because she only has 8,000 health after exactly, all. Exactly, you know? Kona starting around by just moving up, trying to start some pressure, but Spigo, Sego ready to respond. We haven't seen a burst come out from Sego yet. They might not be familiar with like using them in sticky situations. Yeah. Oh, yep. That's it's what looking it looks like, like it. Burst is available for that whole thing. That's the thing. Like I was saying, everybody knows a, a different thing. You know your thing. I know my <laughs> one thing. Uh huh. We have a good time here. All right, well, that's the game. Mm -hmm. And chugging straight along. We are back to completely tied, by the way. But we've got Young Cheesy versus Kirijin coming up next. This is going to be Junpei versus uh, Yosuke. And yeah, you're right, Shadow. Uh, Konakami deciding, hmm, this whole dealing with him in neutral thing isn't working. What if I simply ran in and killed him? <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's what you kind of have to do as Yosuke. Mm -hmm. Okay. Waiting for Kirijin to ready up here. Let me get the character's input. Assuming we don't have any sudden swaps, of course. <laughs> you did fine, Sago. Over here in chat. All caps, all I feel is pain. <laughs> you know, he's now played against Shadow Labrys. That is fair. <laughs> all right, the Yosuke Junpei matchup. Once again, kind of going to come down to whether or not Junpei can get victory cry off. Yosuke has the power to end around quickly, but so honestly, his low health pool might work in his favor in this case. The spooky thing, too, is that uh, you can't lose runs, but you can lose, like, bases and stuff as Junpei yes. by whiffing normals. Yosuke is so fast. Yes. Like oh, that's true. <laughs> On the other hand, if you just start spinning, you might get a hit. <laughs> that is also true. But Kirijin's already looking to start with some pressure right out of the gate, trying to control the pace of the match, not let those runs happen. Ooh, yeah, goes for a throw Ooh, that time. Good grab. And this will trying put him in awakening. Quick. Just now. Yeah, he really went for it. Yeah, Kirijin knows that he needs to deny every run he can here. Mm -hmm. There's round one, and... Young Cheesy does not have a single run on the board, so that's going to be rough. Great job by Kirijin, just keeping Junpei locked down. But you know what? You can get 10 rounds in a round, or did 10 he, runs in a single round here. Did he just jump over that projectile, like the Persona yes. move? <laughs> that was wild. Yosuke things. I guess, dang. Oh, I don't know how much it would matter because of the angle, but uh, Junpei's B-normals do just reflect projectiles. I wonder if they'd hit them straight up again. I guess like diagonal up. I I should hope sideways, but that's an interesting question. Yeah, I don't know. Kirijin keeping the pressure on this whole match, just keeping Young Cheeser from being able to get started. There's the burst, staying yeah, alive. Yeah, that was a pretty important a one too. And an awakening, so there's meter on the table. Okay, I don't think he can kill here. Yeah, he didn't have super. Great furious action. One hit's gonna do it for him, though. He's so lucky that that super or that uh, reversal does like negative damage. <laughs> but yeah, Kirijin will take that one. Honestly, what this looks like is just uh, Young Cheesy not really knowing what to do against someone that fast in neutral, and then Kirijin just being right on his uh his mix-ups on wake up a lot yeah yeah he's doing a great job controlling the space with those mix-ups i agree mm -hmm. so we'll see if uh either those guesses stop coming up heads for him just consistently or if uh young cheesy can slowly figure it out doesn't have too much time here going into this game too no. but 
It did look like things were slowly going more in Cheesy's way. Like, things were getting closer as the set yeah. was going on. So That's the thing. It looked like that was a blowout, but Young Cheesy was a few good interactions from being able to get those runs, really come online, and just shut down uh, Kirogen. Yep. All right, well, let's see if he can put it together this time. Or if it'll have to wait until the next league match. You know what? It's week one. It's it's the time when everyone's learning. Mm -hmm. And hey, I guess uh, I did just check the list. Uh, if he does figure it out, then it'll probably be a big help when he fights the other Yosuke later today. <laughs> oh, no. Because he's the only That's one. That's the thing, though. Yeah, this is the I first. I feel like the other Yosuke on his team just does a very different style of pressure. I think so, yeah. Yeah, like, Kirijin's just really good at using those kunai to create the space, create the opening to then rush in and get these huge conversions. Ooh, there's the furious action. These yep, like, there's the other one. Yeah, the timing he's doing these is meaning that the attack is actually not a true reversal. He's delaying it long enough that he's past the invuln window. But, like, the yeah. tricky timing on that can still throw people off. No, you, you still gotta be get out of the way. Mm-hmm. Oh, breaks the persona to get out of pressure there. Yeah, that was wild. Both characters in Awakening now. Anything could happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, big old baseball swing. Ooh. Yeah, won't matter there. No burst on the table. Ooh. Might be a kill. Not I didn't quite. realize you could pick up there off that. But yeah, like, uh, like we were talking about before, these are just getting closer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, characters, you're figuring out your opponent. It's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kirijin's still just making sure to not stay mobile, deny the runs, and you know what? You brought this up at the start of the set. Every time he's whiffing an attack, you can see in the bottom, he's getting a strike, he's yep. clearing the bases. Yeah, it, so this matchup. Even getting these hits. Because, like, I feel like what you would probably do against Yosuke a lot well, is just throw out, like, low recovery space control stuff preemptively and hope he runs into it. Yeah, the problem is those low recovery things either don't get you bases or get you strikes. Mm -hmm. That's, I don't think that's going to be quite enough Not to kill, but it's going to put... We have 150 meter on, on deck here. <laughs> Kirijit just DP'd his wake up twice. <laughs> Kirijin at set point now. Well, so... Oh, sorry. Yeah, that no, was, the Persona UI is weird because you win the yeah. second game and the first game's icon spins. It, like, it, it's so weird. It's, uh... It's a stylistic choice, certainly. <laughs> okay, well, we are moving on to the final three matches of this Kickstart League set. We've got Diamond Mew up against Spiegel. Konakami up against Kirijin, and we'll close things out with Young Cheesy versus Sego. So up next will be uh, the Risei versus Minazuki. Let's see That's how that Diamond goes. Mew versus Spiegel. Mm -hmm. And I think we did get confirmation that that. I guess it makes sense. The boring, like flat stage with the pillars in the background would be the net play stage, huh? <laughs> So this matchup, we already, we've already we already seen that Spiegel really likes to use his teleport to kind of keep pressure on at any range. Mm -hmm. And Diamond Mew really likes to use these notes to just keep pressure on his opponent. So it's going to, again, kind of come down to controlling space, like so many matchups do. But this one's very much playing around those notes, trying not to get caught out, you know? I'm trying to watch for the teleport. Because Rize really has some curious. big moves that are really slow. Yeah, for sure. I am really curious uh, what the interaction would be if Risei DPs and then Minazuki teleports behind. So I believe in that case, you hit and then the shock goes, it whiffs, it goes the wrong direction. Spiegel really putting on the pressure right out of the gate though, keeping the high damage. But Ooh. that does put Diamond Mew into Awakening. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's that reversal. Oh, and the burst and gets blocked. Burst. 
Looks like Diamond oh, and is getting the one. pressure started. Yeah, Rise, unfortunately, not quite fast enough to, like, get there in time to do anything about that reversal. Okay, this is where uh, Rise really shines, is her Oki after she can set notes. <laughs> That's so active. You just keep pressure on for so long with them. Great defense here by Diamond Mew. Oh, yeah, did Needy 5A wake up Raw reversal? Super. Mm hmm. Once again, Spiegel just starting, keeping the pressure on right out of the gate. Just going a fast and aggressive, not letting those notes get set up. The cross up into cross up. Yeah, that's uh, that's Minazuki. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Minazuki is currently scanned, by the way, which means that uh, some of Risei's Persona normals work differently. They generally are like homing. Uh, it only lasts until one of the Persona moves comes out and consumes it, or uh, Risei gets hit. Or it also like times out eventually. But... Ooh, like boy. both status effect. This Ooh, does he get a combo? In the corner. Not quite enough for the KO. A little bit late on that super. Yeah, immediate burst there. He's trying to create some, both players trying to feel each other out this range. Oh uh, yeah. And there's yep. the low. Spiegel had the life to gamble with, was like, ah, you know what, they're probably gonna try and bait like a reversal or a super or something. Just do a quick low. Just throw something out there, you don't need the big damage, you just need a little bit. Mm-hmm. Alright, Spiegel, now on game point in his last game of the night. And Diamond Mew fighting to get Moonlit Melee back a little bit closer into this set. Uh, the three Junets employees are looking to get a bonus here. Pulling ahead. See if they can get it. We are waiting on something. Oh, just the lobby. And there okay. it goes. <laughs> yeah, when in doubt. <laughs> Going with the color change to really throw his opponent off here. Mm -hmm. Really thinking about it, too. <laughs> oh no, these are the important decisions. True, true. Okay. Beagle's done a great job keeping that pressure from getting started, so we'll see if Diamond Mew can pull something out and get these notes out, get the pressure started, just really... We've seen what Diamond Mew can do once it gets started. It's just that two-step neutral you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gotta get there in the first place. Oh, there's the furious action to keep the corner. Oh, early burst coming out. Yeah, but that does mean there's a chance you'll get it back. Very true. Yeah, especially if it like goes to round three or anything. There was a great whiff punish, like you were talking about earlier. Oh, and yeah, this is just completely safe. Yeah, it, it, it's safe. It, it can come out of a furious action, and it can keep pressure on. You can't do it twice quickly. Yep, that little gray bar down it's in like the bottom the left. has come online. Yeah, but just like a couple of wonky hits that it looked like he wasn't ready for like the state that Minazuki was in. Diamond Mew goes for the cross up there with the drop, but not, but Spiegel was ready for it. Oh, I raw, raw super. I really thought that uh, I saw Diamond Mew block that. I guess not. Oh, and yeah, the teleport back to steal the corner. I love that the furious action blocked the projectile and counter hit for him. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Just not respecting those projectiles coming out. Oh, that's a command Both grab, so you can't tech it. Critical help. And air there throw. Who's ready for an air throw? <laughs> yeah, both of these players are, uh, I believe, primarily gear players. So, not too surprising to see it come out of Spiegel, but yeah, like, not too surprised that Diamond U wasn't ready for it in this game either. Oh, I thought, I thought the burst was getting blocked there. I, I Not quite. swear, yeah. Oh, interesting. 
there's the furious action. You know, like I was saying, you don't have to respect the, the pressure in this game. If you know this what to is... do, you can get out. Definitely been oh. the set of reversal DPs. I really like what Diamond Mew did there. Whiffs the furious action, uses the super to get out of it real quick. Mm -hmm. And then just keeps the pressure on again. Both players doing an excellent job blocking whatever's coming at them. There's the burst. The Spiegel's got awakening, but not enough meter to do a lot with it. I'm curious if uh, Risa is 2B. I assume that it does crush the uh, the teleport, but I'm not sure. I haven't seen Diamond Mew attempt it yet. It's pretty small. Once again, using the super to get out of that situation where you whiff the furious action. Both players are hit away from there. Oh no! Blocked the burst, but couldn't quite kill off of it, and oh, will die for it. That's, uh... So close. That's tragic for Diamond Mew, but Spiegel will walk away with the 2-0. Both players just did a great job setting themselves up, trying to, you know, feel out each other. Rize puts down a big move, Spiegel's there to punish it. Mm-hmm. All right, who we got next? Uh, next up should be Konakami versus Kirijin. So barring any character changes, we're gonna see that Shadow Labrys versus Yosuke matchup again. Different Yosuke though. <laughs> true, true. The three Juness employees not looking at a promotion tonight probably. Well, maybe. They're up by a four right now. So, oh, at I'm worst... looking at the wrong side of the score. <laughs> it, no it, it, they might be getting that raise after all. At most, Team Moonlit Melee, if they 2-0 uh, both remaining sets, will tie. And the way that uh, the points work here is it's not just that the points go directly into your like ladder score, so to speak. Um, if you win the set, you do also get a small bonus. I think it's uh, three or four points. I'd have to go check the spreadsheet thing. But if there is a tie, then it just cuts in half. They each get half of the win. But I'm sure that the three Juness employees would like the win here. But even oh, if... Yeah. They, uh, want, they want everything they can. They're, they're hardworking employees. Exactly. Yeah, even if, uh, even if the three Juness employees do take a game here and then they're just like locked in for first, uh, every Ooh. game that Moonlit Melee takes will still matter quite a bit. Kirishin just immediately going for the Persona breaks. Just saying, no, I'm killing the bull now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he's also uh, pretty close to a Persona break. The thing is, I don't feel like Yosuke suffers as much when that yeah, happens. Yeah, probably not. Certainly not as much as Shavras. Yeah, Kona playing a little more cautiously all of a sudden. <laughs> mm -hmm. If they're half gone. And Kona does have a lot of meter to work with here. Gonna see. Oh, uh, oh, there's the burst. There, there's the meter. Wow. Okay. He uh. Full burst into super. He just kind of. Oh. Uh, did it freeze for you? Yes. I... Uh oh. Uh, I wonder if they're still playing. Lobby. Oh, Oh, nope, it no, disconnected them. That was the connection issue. That's not that's not on the lobbies. Okay. And Konakami is still here, so that was not an alt F4. Probably. Uh what do we do about that? Okay, so that was round one, correct? And okay, Kona yes. Yes it was. So we just give him a round. Ah, but there's other things like the burst and... Yeah, I think what we're going to have to do is uh, go back play. in. Kirijin takes round one. Both players just have burst. It's fine. Yeah, it happens. Uh, actually, so Kirijin used burst right before the end. Right at the end. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if we have him replay it, and then we get to see more Persona. True. But 
Kirijin did also basically win that first one, so. Handedly. Mm hmm. With a wild call out, too. <laughs> okay, oh hey, different sides. Just trying to confuse us. Wait, no. Sorry, I am wrong. They're on the same sides. <laughs> but okay, they do so confuse you. For anyone on a stream who like didn't hear the explanation, uh, they just got DC'd. So Kirijin is going to burst and then just take round one. And then they're just going to go from round two. Because it basically DC'd on the super hit that was killing for sure. <laughs> and you have communicated that already? Yep, yep. They should both know. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, there you go, Kirijin. Uh, I am realizing he is doing the auto combo, though, so... Yeah, so he's gonna get the burst right back. Uh, if it happens, it happens. Yeah... Eh, it is what it is. Uh-huh. I, uh... Should've, should've saved the burst to the end. I was thinking it, too. Yeah. I don't know it's if... Fine. I assume that they cannot hear us, though, right yeah. now, so... Well, we're back into it either way, and, uh... Yeah, we're seeing the same thing. Just keeping the pressure on, popping the bowl as quickly as can, but Kona seems to be playing a little more cautiously. Blocking mm -hmm. a lot more with the bowl. Go, go, stay, playing a little safer, you know? For sure, yeah. And, uh, oh, still down to three Persona cards busted, though. I think the, the Kunai's break it. It looks like, it looks like, uh, they, I know that for Ooh, proration Subi. purposes, they count as a single hit, so I'm guessing that it also counts them as one for Asterius. That makes sense. Ooh, what a jump block. Almost the Persona Thank break. You. Mm hmm Thank you, Diamond. for the install, trying to keep pressure on. There's the break! Mm -hmm. Break, uh, no punish on the DP, but, oh, I assume that this is massively that unsafe. That might be unsafe. Very. A little harder to All do right. anything without, without Asterius, but Asterius is back. Bit scrambly here. Ah, yep, yep, Ooh, and just the wake up action. DP will do it. That's the thing, you throw out the Furious action, there might be a Yosuke in front of you by the time it comes out. Mm-hmm. Kona starting Ooh. off by going a lot more on the offensive here. Wow, that grab does so much damage to Yosuke. She needs it, remember? <laughs> You're right. Well, hey, Yosuke needs it too. His health is about the same. <laughs> yeah, but a it's bit more, more, so... Ah, you're right, you're right. Kirijin already in Awakening. Got got the meter to work with. We'll see if there can be a conversion here. Get straight into... Ooh, the install super. So he's going to be powered up for uh, mostly just this combo, actually. Yeah, it didn't last past the combo. That's still a decent chunk of damage. Oh yeah, puts put, unfortunately just enough to put Kona into Awakening. Yep. Here. And I think this might just combo into a kill? Yeah. Yeah, I would uh, not Tatamakia. have been confident about what was happening there either. <laughs> I think that was Tatanamakia? Not I sure. Think he was, so. She was off screen. Mm -hmm. I mean, I assume so. It's an it's Awakening super. super from Shabra's. I. Yeah, no, you yeah. <laughs> know. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me go check. Going into game three now. Tanamakia is not a reversal, it doesn't look like. I didn't think so, but no, I wanted that to make makes sure. Because you, you, you activate it and then you input three buttons, and in that time, you know. Mm -hmm. It'd be a little silly if it also the first one comes out immediately. <laughs> for sure, for sure. I don't know how much she actually needs, let's be honest here. Yeah, I think she's doing pretty okay for herself. All right, game three between these two. Mm -hmm. Again, if Kirijin can take a game here, then it does secure his team the win. That's what he's fighting for. Konakami doing his absolute best to stop that. Okay, 
decent chunk of meter here right at the start for uh, Konakami from that first hit bonus and the little combo. Yeah, it's going to be enough for a... Uh... Ooh, there's the burst. Yeah, coming out real early. Curious if we'll see yeah, one I from think Kirijin. Kona, Kona just finding that right mix between offense and defense is what's doing it. Does, does oh Yosuke gosh. dab during his burst? You know, I don't know, but I could believe it. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Alright, we are now in here in the second round. Neither player has burst, but Konakami is on set point. Set round, even. Oh, once again, there's the break in the bowl. Oh, interesting. He got the, uh, the reversal off because of the laser, not because Labrys hit it. Yeah, the laser can cover a lot of unsafe options for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this course, just dead? Of course, it takes a little while to come out. It might be. Can't quite. There it is. Wow, I'm actually incredibly surprised that that reversal wasn't still active. It's like 30 frame parry or something. <laughs> so, I believe she just hopped over real quick there and was able to get the cross up. Because when you're blocking against Shadow Labrys, you do have to block away from Shadow yeah. Labrys. Not not Asterius. Doesn't matter where Asterius is. So mm -hmm. if you throw out the laser on one side, jump over your opponent, they have to block according to where Shabras is. Mm -hmm. In that situation, though, uh, I saw Kirijin, like, whiff the startup of the DP. The Furious action, which is a parry. Yeah. And it should trigger on projectiles. So I think that the laser actually just came in so slowly that it's still that just, just punished the recovery. Enough. Yeah, with both those characters, it's sometimes a little hard to understand what's going on. Oh, for sure. All right, and we are ending it on Yosuke versus Junpei. One way or another here. We, uh... Battle of the Goofy Best Friend characters. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, huh? Man, I just do not think of Persona 3 as having the Goofy Best Friend character because of the general He's... tone difference, but that yeah. is exactly what he is. Yeah. <laughs> and he has so much character growth. It's a good game. It I, is. I do not like JRPGs at all. Like, not, I, I cannot get through any of them. I played through all of Persona 3, and then 4 came out on PC, like, right mm, after that. And I was mm -hmm. like, nope, guess I'm playing through this one now. Yep. It's yep. really rare for me to finish any of them. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, but uh, my roommate's a huge fan of them, so I've seen a ton of, uh, at least 4 and 5, and then I saw the movies for 3. But, alright, we are... Oh! Crossed him up just late enough that that still came out the wrong way. Okay, though, like the thing is, this is going to be the oh. same as the other Junpei matchup. It's all about being able to hit him, and he's so fast, he's kind of hard to get. Yep, you do You're gonna not be want to whiff. A lot. Are you getting these stutters as well, by the way? I am, yes. Ah, oh, okay. Well, hopefully they're gone now. I... I don't even know whether to blame, like, one of the players or the lobby. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or us. It's hard to say. True, true. Um, I think that Spago here is doing a really good job just poking at a distance, rushing in and out, making Young Cheesy whiff the attacks, get those strikes, lose his bases in the process. Yeah. And yeah, he is so down to just backdash, jump away kunai, just but as many times run. as it takes. That home run, the bases were loaded, so he does get four bases just for that. Unfortunately, he's going to whip the burst right after. All right, one strike on the board. Ah, oh, cleared out. Persona. Both characters in Awakening. Yeah, both they Personas pretty low, yet. too. Thing is, neither of these characters, if their persona is broken, are in like a super bad position. Ooh, that's... I feel like Young Chi or Spago would lose a lot of pressure, a lot of mix up, but. Oh, Sago? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was also. Uh... <laughs> Young Cheesy had the bases loaded and the meter for a super there. If he could have converted it, he would have been oh, yeah, real been close huge. to victory cry, but. Yeah, 
that's the thing. Junpei's just playing a very different game from these other characters. He Normally really you think, is. oh, I just want I just want to do damage. No. You want to score runs, you want to activate that, you got a win condition here. There's that Ooh, persona there's the break. Attack. Mm -hmm. Not quite enough to convert some huge damage off it though. And it will come back real fast because he does only have the three cards. Yes, the fewer cards you have, the more easily you're broken, but you get it back much faster. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. That's going to be two runs on the board, up yep. to six. He can take this, then he's on track to get a victory cry there at the end. Yeah, you want it to go to round three as Junpei. <laughs> yeah, basically. Unfortunately, it's it, Yosuke's just... He's doing a great job of denying those hits, of making him whiff. Oh, and just wake Ooh, up 5A, is. yeah. Yeah. Young Cheesy taking it to round three here. Mm hmm. On track to maybe get that victory cry. It's just a matter of, uh, well, A, if he can get it, and B, you know, how early into the round he'll get there. One good. You load the bases, you get one super off, you clear them, you get runs. Mm hmm. We sound like crazy people talking about this mechanic. <laughs> we do. <laughs> All right, two bases on, three bases on. If he gets a super here, uh, ah, okay. Uh, yeah. they, they cleared it out. Young Cheesy doing a much better job just uh, just getting aggressive at the right times, but unfortunately, uh, Sego's doing a really good job of just avoiding the attacks, getting the whiffs. All right, yeah, got burst back right at the last second Needed on the Oki, then, but, but not enough. Yep, nope, Sego. First pop, one more interaction, but it was not quite enough. Sego takes game one. Mm hmm And I believe if that does lock in the victory for the three Juness employees. However, Young Cheesy could make this a, what, one point game? <laughs> yeah, you, every point counts in this league, you know? Mm-hmm. That was super close, too. Oh, yeah. I, th I feel like Young Cheesy, once he figures out a few things about the neutral game, it's going to be a real threat. You're going to start seeing those victory cries a lot more often. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. There were even a couple of uh, key hits in there where, like, he got a starter and it just looked like he wasn't quite sure how to get the, uh, how to, like, convert it into a run. But he, like, he yeah. had the starter for it, so just a little bit more character familiarity. So I wouldn't be too surprised if, like, even just uh, next week in the matches... We're seeing victory cry pop left and right. I I do think that Young Cheesy has had some some tough matchups tonight, though. Two <laughs> Yosuke's and a Shadow Labrys, you know? Yeah. I think yeah. hitting Shadow Labrys counts for a hit, but still, there's threats at all every, uh, every range. You kind of got to get in. It's not easy. So Cheesy actually has fought two Yosuke's and the Minazuki. Shadow Labrys was mistake. on this team. I'm looking at the wrong side of my <laughs> card here. No worries, no worries. Still, that's an even tougher yeah, one. Yeah, right I know, there. right? The Spiegel on that character is uh, spooky for sure. Oh, yeah. Junpei uh, being able to put pressure at any distance, just going in, coming out, throwing the projectiles, create some space. It's a real Round threat. start DP. All right. You know, I respect it. Cheesy feel in a certain type of way. Sega did not. <laughs> Wow, I once again Sago doing a great job just getting in, getting out, and not letting him get those hits in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just duck and weave is definitely like the name of the neutral game as this character. A little late with the jump, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And that's the, gonna clear the bases. Comboing off of uh, all out attack in this game feels real wonky. <laughs> you have to like so... mash for the right number of hits. I figured out that you could just hold down the up button the whole time. Oh? Yeah, uh, you can just be holding it. Does it jump immediately, though? It will jump the frame you can. Okay, so the thing that's weird about it is that uh, you get different properties on the move if you uh, jump or hit forward on the last hit of the mash. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> there's still some wonkiness yeah, to it's it. It's kind of learning the timing of how many times do I hit it. Oh, oh. that's going to be panic. Yeah, his inputs are reversed. Okay, it's cleared now. Which, but. Sego's, Sego managed to throw out the panic there, which reverses Young Cheesy's controls, which against Yosuke is a huge threat. 
That's going to be three runs on the board for Young Cheesy right there. Yep, a little bit lower than where he was at this point uh, last game. Right, there's Ooh. another big Persona break. That was a really good use of that move. Oh, yeah. Just kind of is able. It's his one move that threatens him at any range. Mm -hmm. Young Cheesy using his burst to hold on just a little longer. I think is this kills. Kill yep, there it is. All right. And Sago will get his team that last point, make this a 12 to 8 match. Congratulations to the three Juness employees. Hopefully getting that promotion after all, maybe a raise. <laughs> The, let's are. be real, they're working retail, they're getting none of that. Uh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Alright though, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, it is fairly late, so I'm going to wrap it up here pretty quickly. I have work in the morning. But that was a cool set. That uh, well, We saw some great matches. For sure. A lot of Yosuke matches, but there were some great ones, and the two Yosukes did play pretty different. Mm-hmm. It would be interesting to see a mirror between the two, but they're on the same you team. You know, we so. might have to make it happen at some point. Maybe, maybe. All right. Thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, our next league match will be on Monday, September 12th at 6.30, which is going to be uh, Team 3 up against my team. And then later that night at 9 p.m., we will have Use Battle Angels, who we saw earlier tonight, go up against Team Moonlit Melee, who we just saw here. So I'm Team 3. Oh, nice. So we'll be fighting next time. We're going to have to fight. You hear that, Diamond Mew? You're hosting the stream. <laughs> All right. Thanks again for coming through, everyone. Have a good, good night. Good night, everyone.